hopefully some of you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I'm not the type of person that, you know, if I see someone that I was once cool with doing good, I will congratulate them just because people switch up on me doesn't mean not to act that same way towards them. At the end of the day, I'm always going to be supportive to everyone I know, no matter what the circumstances are. But um, I just really hope that you think about all of what you've done, what you've dragged yourself into. And I just really hope at the end of the day, this was worth it. I know you're trying to get more clout or get attention off of this. And I know you're probably going to be excited when you see this video because, you know, yay, I'm finally getting more recognition. recognition. But at the end of the day, Reagan, this isn't cool nor funny. You're trying to do this for entertainment. This is actually something very, very serious. And But you wouldn't know that because everything's a joke to you. You don't take anything serious and you... Everything's just for views and likes for you. But. Yeah, that is true. I mean. Poor girl who had to. Defame. Declaim. Say. And Ethan, she's kind of evil in a way. I mean, come on. This is why I don't like people who defend James Charles. I mean, if you are James Charles defender, like... I know what you're doing with your life trying to defend James Charles. I mean, anytime James Charles would, would actually learn from his mistakes, he would never learn from his mistakes. I just wanted to come on here, clear a couple things up. At the end of the day, no matter what situation that happens, the truth will always come to the light, no matter what, no matter what. So hopefully a lot of people will learn to not believe everything you see on the internet. This is a prime example how someone can easily just twist things up and make it about themselves just to inject themselves into a situation for temporary attention. But you know, that's all I have to say. I'm very, I was angry earlier, but I'm very disappointed in you, Reagan. I hoped and wish you the best. I thought you would be doing better, but this is not the way to do things. But um, it's crazy so much drama going on. So much drama with you, TikTokers. I'm really not happy to see you mentioning our names in your TikTok. If you don't, if you barely talked to us, if you thought we were sketch, why did you feel the need to bring our names into a situation? You've never, ever once talked to us, talked about us on your TikTok. You've never, ever once made us relevant in your success. You've never, ever once brought up where you came from. None of that. So why all of a sudden, when certain things are going on, you think it's okay to just prove you know everything, and although you have a big following, you're just trying to manipulate your followers and viewers for temporary clout, which is not cool. You know, a lot of people are believing a lot what's going on, and you're not making the situation any better. So Reagan, do me a favor and just please stop. I This doesn't have to be bigger than what it is. It's not too late. You can take those videos down. Everything you said in that was false. After this video, I can prove that it was false. Don't have you on Snapchat. I've never blocked you. I never was on a FaceTime or Snapchat video with you. None of that. You stopped talking to us, Reagan. You started acting different. You and I know that. Everyone part of the group knows that. So once again, just please stop. I don't bother you. Please, I don't know why you're doing this. Just stop. And that's where I'll end it off there, Reagan77. Yeah, you are a huge, huge fraud liar. Please don't ever do that again.